for the sign of Aquarius, hello and welcome to my channel. So, Aquarius, in the recent past, we got the Queen of Pentacles and it's with judgment. Now, the Queen of Pentacles, it's a card that is showing that you probably spent time, money, and energy on your own. Uh, maybe you wanted it to be more comfortable and so you did certain things to get it that way. Now, this would have been a good thing provided you didn't take on too much debt in the recent past. People could have been looking to you for maybe some insight or advice and you, you would have been able to help them if you decided to do so. This was a time period when you probably got a whole lot accomplished. Now, it's with a judgment card, which is a, is a card about jumping to conclusions. Decisions and, of course, judgments that are made too hastily. So if you are prone to doing such things, it's a sign to slow down and give things more thought. Give people more chances. This could also be a time of spiritual awakening. If you were in a relationship in the recent past, it can be, or well, it could have been a time where it was at a make or break. So, um... Yeah, maybe a lot of jumping to conclusions and not really offering forgiveness. So basically with these two cards paired together for your recent past, Queen of Pentacles and Judgment, it looks like you could have been in a connection that um, um, that was at a make or break. It was at a make or break period and there probably was a lot of uh, jumping to conclusions, um, making decisions too fast or too hastily, just being judgmental. This person could have done this to you or you to them, and it caused a problem for the um, relationship or the connection, and it looks like you decided to maybe just take to yourself and um, maybe just be at home a lot, just focus on maybe you because she's sitting on... Uh, looks maybe like maybe a lounge chair in her backyard. If you can see the picture of the Queen of Pentacles, it's the card that's above the work past. Like I said, she's just wanting comfort, so you didn't want the drama that was happening in the recent past because something was out of make or break. Could have been with the person you were seeing, or it could have been maybe a friend or a family member. But you decided to, that you wanted comfort. Maybe you just wanted a sensible lifestyle. You wanted a sensible lifestyle and you didn't want the drama. And um, yeah, something caused a make or break in some type of connection you were in. And you, you just decided to maybe take to yourself and just to be comfortable at, at home. Like this lady, she has a... Uh, she's like I said, she's in her backyard. She's feeding the pets, the squirrels that come up to her. She's got her dog keeping her feet warm. And that's basically what you wanted in the recent past. You didn't really want to want any drama um, with maybe someone or a situa situation that's showing here with the judgment card. Yeah, someone didn't offer forgiveness and it caused a problem. Or just someone just jumped to a lot of conclusions and you didn't want that. So you kind of like just took to yourself and decided to have a peace of mind. So let's move on over and let's take a look and see what's going on coming up for the second week of August. We got the Knight of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Now the Knight of Pentacles, uh, it's about messages. If you're waiting to hear from someone or if you're hoping that someone will reach out, well, guess what? They're coming. Now, the Knight of Pentacles, it's about receiving some type of communication that you've been waiting on. And the news is good news. The Knight is a very practical card. It tells you to pay attention to the mundane and normal parts of your life. You probably heard the saying before, if you take care of the little things, the big things will fall into place. Well, the Knight of Pentacles, it asks you to look at how you're handling your affairs. It's a very groundly influence. So it's with the Eight of Pentacles. Now the Eight of Pentacles, it points to necessary efforts. You have a lot on your plate that you need to get accomplished. Dedication to the task is going to be very important. But if you let it work for its own sake, it can be counterproductive. 
So make sure you're clear on what you're trying to accomplish coming up in August and strive for balance because no one should work all the time. The Eight of Pentacles, it's indicating a very, very hard work period. And this doesn't have to be a negative thing, but you have to be prepared for it. Now, I say it's a very hard work period because if you see the picture of this card, the Eight of Pentacles is below the word present. Um, this man is working uh, all the way to nighttime. Yeah, it looks like it's raining too, and the raindrops are huge. And it's about to get really dark outside, and this man has no intentions on stopping. No intentions whatsoever. So, a very, very hard work period. You could be trying to master a craft, or maybe you just enjoy your employment. Um, or you got a lot of passion, motivation, and you're inspired about something. Now, basically, for the present time, like I said, coming up the second week, week of August, Knight of Pentacles and this heavy work period, heavy workload, the Eight of Pentacles. Um, these two cards paired together, it's, it's indicating that someone could be a love interest, maybe the person you're with, some, maybe someone new. Mm, or, like I said, maybe someone you know already, they want to reach out, they want to talk to you. The Knight of Pentacles is a very slow and steady type, um, very stable and civilized. This Knight of Pentacles is a good to marry type, very good to marry, stable and civil. So this person will come to you correct, probably they'll be saying what you want to hear. But it's with the Eight of Pentacles. So this person could come across as as um, um, maybe they work a lot they, they have a, um, a job that takes a lot of their time so it could interfere with the relationship so this person is going to have to make a point to make time and space for the connection regardless of what they do or how much work they put in at their um, job or whatever they do for a living otherwise the connection it could suffer so this person um, they might uh, be trying to work on something they might be um, they might have a lot of passion and motivation and inspire inspiration towards you also so I get a couple of storylines. This person, like I said, they want to reach out to you. They will be contacting you if you're looking to hear from someone. And uh, it's good news. It's what you want to hear with this Knight of Pentacles. Like I said, it's all about stability, being civilized, taking things slow and steady. And like I said, they, this person either has a lot of passion about you, motivated and inspired, or or, or they will come across as um, having a heavy workload. I'm picking up that this person has a lot of passion for you. Just because they're coming in like a knight of pentacles, which is a beautiful card. So this person probably wants to master this connection. And they enjoy being with you. So let's move on over and let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the two of cups, beautiful, and the page of cups. Now the two of cups... He refers to romantic partnerships, but um, that's not its only connotation. It can speak of balance, friendship, joy, sharing. This card says that things are going really well and you should be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. The Two of Cups, it represents true love, balance, partnerships, commitment, all the things that most of, the, most of us hope for when it comes to love and relationships. Yeah, it's a beautiful card in the Tarot, the Two of Cups. And when it's paired with the Page of Cups, which is the card below, it's showing the need to play, dream, have a little fun. When this card appears, it means that you could be taking yourself way too seriously. There was a poet that once said, the one thing that I've learned over the years is the difference between taking one's work seriously and taking oneself seriously. The first is imperative and the second can be a disaster. You have to know the difference. 
So the challenge that you got coming up second week of August, Two of Cups and Page of Cups. Um, there's a lot of love here. Two of Cups is very, it's a romantic love. It's a harmony. It's a union. It's the ideal partner. Um, this person that's coming in, this Knight of Pentacles, it's either this person, the Knight of Pentacles that we talked about in the present time, or it could be someone else. I don't know, maybe maybe, maybe you're dealing with two people or, or more, but um, this, the challenge is the Two of Cups. An ideal partner is here. Um, this Two of Cups could, it could uh, lead to marriage, proposal. It's a very, like I said, it's a very romantic love. It's a great partnership, the ideal partner. Now, it's also great paired with the Page of Cups. Um, the two of you will be having a great time playing, dreaming, and and just hanging loose and having a good time. You two will forget all about coronavirus and wearing a face mask. That'll be a thing of the past for you two when you come together. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. I love the Two of Cups. Yeah, could be a soulmate. Could be a twin flame. It's the ideal partner. And there's a lot of playful energy here. Now, with the Page of Cups, keep them, keep in mind when you hear the word page in the tarot, that's a student, that's youth. Could be someone younger than you. And you two will have a lot of fun, and there's a lot of love. A whole lot of love here in this reading for the challenge. Yeah, so let's see what the outcome is. Now we got the Eight of Wands and the Moon card. Now the Eight of Wands is showing things could be up in the air. You could start to feel frustrated and maybe tired of waiting. Now this card is indicating that you have to be patient a while longer. You've done all that you can do. Now decisions have to be made by other people. And so when this card appears, nothing seems to be moving ahead. Don't try to force things. Because if you do, it could backfire on you. Sometimes, just know that our actions, they're all in the wrist. All you can do is put your best out there and see where it lands. You put your best out there. Now you just have to wait. Now it's paired with the moon card. The moon card, you're in a psychic, in intuitive phase more than usual. So it's going to be important for you to trust your instincts and your impressions, even if you're not sure where it's coming from. Also, not that you need to be mistrusting, but... It's going to be helpful for you to realize that when this card appears, it's possible that all is not what it seems. If you feel you cannot trust someone, then you probably cannot. So go with your gut instincts. And if you're waiting on an answer from someone, well, it could take longer than you would like for it to. So it's about trying to stay patient. Yeah, this moon card... When it talks about love, it's a highly emotional time in a relationship. Things can become unheeded or uncomfortable. So that's what the outcome is. The moon card and the eight of wands. It looks like maybe some communication you're waiting on. Maybe you could be dealing with someone who's long distance and you're frustrated and tired of waiting and it's causing you to not trust the connection. You're not trusting a situation or I'm picking up because this is a love reading. You're not trusting someone or a connection. You could feel like the person is uh, wearing a mask and it's because things are just up in the air. So it's making you, um, it'll, it, this will probably make you hold back. Um, it'll cause, because things are up in the air and not moving fast enough, it might make you feel like you shouldn't trust. You shouldn't trust this person or a situation. You're going to feel like there's deception. You might feel like someone is not saying how they truly feel. A lot of thoughts are going to run through your head with this moon card here. 
And because it's saying that the moon card is about feeling or being psychic and intuitive, you just might be right. You might be right about your thoughts. But, um, like I said, it's a highly emotional time. That's the outcome. And it's because things are not happening fast enough. So, I don't know if, like I said, I don't know, maybe a person's long distance and they're not getting to you fast enough or they're not calling you back fast enough. Something's happening that's just making your head feel like there's deception. But I like that the Two of Cups is here and I like that the Knight of Pentacles is a very slow, stable, and civilized person. So, like I said, you could be dealing with two people. Maybe one of them you don't trust and the other is coming across as really stable and civilized. So, maybe you'll lean more towards the Knight of Pentacles person. Maybe there's two people here. One is um, one that you have a lot of fun with and the other one is very stable and civilized. One of them you're not going to really trust though. You're going to think there's deception. So that's the reading that I have for you, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed the reading. The reading. The reading.